Yes, sir. What's up, YouTube? I'm back at it with another video. In this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting another project, bro. Stop following me. I'm gonna be getting another project cop for the channel. Say what's up to the vlog, Chris. Yeah. Say. <laughs> Nah, anyways, though, I'm gonna be getting a 70s, like 70s, 71, 72 C10 for the channel. It's a project. It's It looks shitty right now, but once I get done with it, it's gonna be cute. What did you say, punk? For real. Fah! Look at it. This it right here, y'all. This is a new project. I'm gonna probably get all that out. I'm gonna ask the lady, do she wanna get all that out? Bust a short bit. I'm gonna get a new tailgate for it, new paint job, all that for it. But I'm telling y'all, watch me work for real. I'm gonna turn this, turn this from shit to sugar. Ain't that right? That's right, buddy. Shit to sugar, that's what I do. This mug got way more space than Imani. Way more space. I, I think that motherfucker real. Look, look at the oil feed. That mug look almost new, don't it? Yeah. It might run for real. I'm telling you, I'm gonna throw a battery in now. And I'll let I'll try to get that mud going for it. It's the inside. I'm gonna change this out too. And then I gotta get new uh watch collars for the windows to roll them down. And I'm gonna get a new seat cover. I'm thinking about changing this mud out though. I'm gonna put like the seats that's in Isaac new truck in there. I'm gonna be real. And they got that shift in there. So anyways, y'all, we gotta push this from over here to all the way over there, fool. Cause the winch on Kenyatta trailer don't work. Round one. It's cause the bitch ain't moving. It's moving. <laughs> My man's up under there. What's going on, fool? That's in reverse. Just pull it back without that thing. Round two. Oh my god, GPS, you wanna sing? <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? I don't know what the hell you say. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> what you gonna do, Mike? Pull it. Oh, oh shit. Final round. Alright guys, we're on a mission today. We're gonna get it moved. It's on work. I'm gonna have to call a tow truck. Tomorrow. <laughs> Whenever I get paid again. <laughs> Mike, just get on the back of the truck out. <laughs> Good, gonna pop my arms right out of place. Boy. Say something. That bitch in gear, fool. It's in neutral. No, it's in gear. It's in gear. Yeah, they're moving it. What? Telling you, it's not in gear. It's in neutral. Shit, moving now, but. Close the 
stuck in that fucking, that smell like throw up an ass. <laughs> Hey, Bruh, that took forever, dog. Shout out to my man. Go ahead and show him. That's what Negroes do. <laughs> you need a good pressure washer. Old paint Damn. Not right there. All right, y'all. We finally got that mother home. I'm finna pull it right here, and this where it's gonna sit until I get everything. Well, until I get it running, basically, and then I'm gonna take it. And my brother and them saying just get it clear coated, so keep it like patina, so it had that rust look or whatever like that. And, but just get new wheels and drop it. But we'll see. We out there, John, getting tacos, food. Say what's up to the vlog, psych. Tacos. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm hungry than the mud. What about you, bro? You hungry? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. You hungry? Psych. This only place open right now because of quarantine. <laughs> Alright y'all, before I finish today's video, I'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all like a brief history slash like, I guess you could say overview of why I got the car and how I found the car and all that stuff. So I'm gonna start off with the history of the car. Uh, the lady who I bought it from, her name was Miss Anita. She ended up telling me that it was her husband's truck. He passed away like three years ago. That's why the truck hasn't been started. She hasn't went out there to start it. She don't know nothing about the truck. She just wanted to, I guess, get rid of it because it was sitting on the side of the house. The truck was, like I said, it's been sitting there for like three years. So we took it off. We took it over to the house, spread it down a little bit. And actually with me spraying, I can see that it's like a lot of like residue on the truck. So once I get it started and all that stuff, I'm going to actually take it. I'm going to pressure wash it off and uh we just gonna go from there so that's like the brief history of the truck and why i got the truck and how i found the truck so the truck was actually in the same neighborhood that isaac lives in and i've been driving over there like every time i drove over there i told isaac i'd be like bro i want that truck bro i want that truck it's a c10 and it's a short bed that truck is actually hard to find and once you actually fix them up they can go for like at least 20 to 40 some thousand dollars right now in the stage that that's in it's an easy like five to six thousand dollar truck just without even starting or nothing like that as long as it's got the engine in there it's good to go and i actually got it for a steal but uh we drove over there and i always said and i guess he ended up telling my brother zave uh that i want the truck so him and zave went up to the lady asked her about the truck and she said well tell your brother come over here and just offer me a price and i went over there one day i knocked on the door and i asked her i asked her uh so how much do you actually want for the truck? She said a guy came a couple weeks beforehand and offered her some money for it. And I was like, well, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna beat him out and I come get the truck. And she ended up bringing me into the garage. We ended up seeing some wheels over there and I actually ended up helping her sell the wheels. So that actually ended, me, ended up getting me in the clear to buy the truck at the price that I bought the truck from. Um, I mean, I guess that's really it. So like I was saying yesterday, uh. I really want to paint the truck black, but Zave, Kenyatta, Isaac, Sarah, and some more people was like, just keep it patina, which I'm going to put a picture up of what a patina truck look like. Basically, it's like what it is now, but you just spray clear coat over it. And I was thinking about, I might end up doing that, you know, in honor of the guy who had the truck. I'm going to try to keep it as original as I can on the outside. Besides the wheels, I'm going to put some clean wheels on there, but I'm going to keep the paint original and all that other stuff. I'm going to actually end up putting trim on there because it's got holes in there. I'm going to put the trim back in place. But uh, once I get through this truck, it's going to be a nice truck, and y'all going to be along with me on this journey to finishing the truck that the guy started. But that's going to be the end of today's video. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell below to stay tuned for all my other videos. And y'all have a nice day. Appreciate it.
This real shit. This my life I gotta deal with. Grinding daily for my kids, I gotta get a shit. Keep it.